What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we're going to check out, I'm going to react to an article that somebody put out at VandalayDesign.com about 40 impressive design agency websites. Now I'm gonna see, perhaps you're interested in my take. Are they impressive? Are they doing things that might violate basic UX roles or UI roles? So anyhow, I thought it might be interesting for all of you to gauge my interest uh, and my take on these websites. Now, as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably wanna be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022 and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, everybody. Yes, it's true. I've got a green shirt on floating head day. Anyhow, let's get started here. So Creative Spark, I've never seen this website before. Let's see what I think upon checking it out. All right. So first up, I like the logo. Navigation simple. They have a, a clear call to action over here under contact. Don't kind of like this area right here because this uh, this case study button really gets kind of hidden with this hero section right here. Um, good good strong type right here. What font is that? That is Herm, H-U-R-M-E. By the way, that's the what font extension you can find uh, that can help you see fonts that you might like. Um, after this, we have uh, obviously quite a colorful brand so far. We can see with this uh, yellow background, um, we got thumbnails that kind of, in my opinion, don't really work that well um, with the white type overlaying what's not being, um, you know, darkened at least enough for good contrast, especially um, not on hover. They darken a little bit, but in my opinion, not quite enough. Um, looking out here, continuing on, kind of don't really like just the empty space over here to the right. I think it's just an unnecessary um, uh, shortened width that, that they've created here. I do like this card. So the cards, you know, very conventional, very light gray background with white cards. These are designed very well. I like that. And yeah, so overall, not 100% impressed. Also, I kind of like, don't look at the fixed navigation up here. When you scroll, you can kind of see a few pixels above it. Like that doesn't look like something that would be intentional. All right, anyhow, let's continue on. Um, grain and mortar. Let's check this one out. All right. So I could tell, um, you know, a lot of these pages, uh, they really do make good use of, you know, this is a 4K maximized browser. So they are, you know, a lot of them for the most part are fluid, um, have some sort of contemporary art that's been created here. Look at this in this section. Don't like the pixelation, um, kind of strange, but nonetheless, very, very unique and creative. Notice they're using a sort of like a um, very muted, uh, color palette here, uh, kind of like pastels, but that have been a little bit desaturated. Now, in my opinion, when we have um, a 4K maximized browser, I kind of do like to kind of get a fixed uh, position here somewhere in the center, maybe around like, you know, 16, 17, 18, you know, 1900 pixels or so. Um, otherwise, it can feel a little bit disconnected uh, when you have multiple columns or two columns that are spread out so far with the amount of white space in the middle. I do like, you know, they, they do definitely have a, a consistent aesthetic as it pertains to illustrations that they're using as well as colors. All right, next up, let us check Rise. What is Rise going to give us? All right, so I like this right off the bat. They had a very quick, very nice sort of I uh, animated loader graphic that showed up. And then we had a nice, if I refresh this here. Oh, that was interesting. So I went right up here and they detected automatically that I was probably leaving the site to hit back or re or not refreshing, but just leaving. And they, they kind of made this little pop-up show up. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely like this approach where we're overlaying the type on top of um, the photograph here. 
Um, everything here looks pretty solid. This was a little bit not quite obvious in my opinion uh, that you could hover over this section. All right, I really like uh, their approach to the, their overall layout structure here. We can see we have subtle um, elements here in the background like this very light gray. And that just makes uh, and adds interest essentially to the layout essentially. All right, I like it overall. So it takes the broken layout approach, which I've I've talked about before and I've covered in different videos. But yeah, this is actually pretty solid. And notice they are using that fixed width container. Um, and it just makes it easier to scan and follow that website. Let's check out adrenaline.com.au. All right, loader graphic, custom cursor icon. Video in the background, have a lot happening here. We designed and build world-class web and mobile products. All right, let's continue on. A lot happening up there though. All right, very solid card design as we can see. Subtle background, very light gray with a white card background. Typical approach we saw already. I would like these to be all equal height containers though. That way the learn more button here, learn more and learn more are all exactly on the same horizontal guide essentially. Like the um, the, the approach to the button design. Very nice right here. I like how they all animated based on scroll. They come in, they all have a sequence step animation which can be achieved by uh, straight up CSS of course or a little bit more easily so with something like GSAP which is the Greensock animation platform. All right, very nice. I, I really like the type here. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. We have a little navigation right here. Very good. Uh, if we scroll up, we'll see the primary navigation up here, but you can see they also have another uh, navigation that you can access, pretty much the same links that you saw over there with some additional information. So I'm not opposed to using a hamburger menu on desktop as long as you also have you know, the primary uh, links that are listed out by default. So that's probably the best one that we've seen so far, I have to say, creative brand, what is this called? Creative brand design. Now for me, I personally don't like this. This is an outdated aesthetic, these little uh, vertices. I think it's called particles.js. I don't like it because it was just, it was done, overdone way too much you know, back around 2016 or so, uh, 2017, when, when cryptocurrencies really started to become um, popular. Also don't like this text here. Definitely tell you if we get out our dev tools and we hover over this, it's not going to have, for some reason, it's not showing me uh, the color contrast, but it's definitely not enough contrast. That wouldn't be, this is not what we would call accessible uh, design right here for this, this contrast. Yeah, for this is um, this is probably the one I'm least impressed with so far. It just seems too muted in terms of the contrast, and there were some white space issues with it as well. Like, look at this; it's just difficult to read. Mm, don't like that one, Watson. Let's check this one out. Alrighty, very interesting. I uh, layout approach here with the structure of these columns, just kind of not centered. I uh, not much happening here in terms of a cohesive layout yet. Let's see what this design, how it reacts when we kind of bring in the browser. Now this I don't like. I noticed that they've done the whole uh, a custom scroll bar, but look how thin it is. Like you can barely grab that thing and if I want to left click, I have to get right there within those couple pixels. So not, not too impressed here. Definitely hate that approach to the scroll bar. If you're going to do a custom scroll bar, make sure you make that thing thicker. That way we can actually use the thing. And it, it, it's also hard to even see. Uh, it's really tiny. Don't like that design either. Bigger picture. Let's check this one out. All right, so some nice animation here, <laughs> a lot happening. Very cool. We take ambitious brands to the next level. 
All right, so I like to type pretty much here for the most part. All right, very easy to read, good contrast. I actually like this um, this high contrast black versus yellow. This isn't a full on bright yellow that'll hurt your eyes. It's actually been um, muted a little bit. Uh, some of the the um, the the tone has been taken out of it, and gray slightly has been added. Um, yeah, so this type works all pretty well, in my opinion. I think that should probably come in a little bit sooner, just because we scroll down and there's big empty sections. Yeah, I think those the scroll-based animations should probably come in sooner. Like we were left with this big space there just before those areas showed up. But that's a minor gripe. All right. Notice how everything seems quite large. I'm not zoomed up on the browser, um, but it still works. It it's definitely has a, its, its own feel, its own brand identity. Let's check out Playground Inc. All right, <laughs> look at this guy's face. He's really, really intense right there. Now, okay, let's check this out. Not a fan of that, you know, the whole hamburger menu desktop without having, you know, utilizing this available space right here is just a big no-no. Um, you could put extra information in here uh, on a hamburger menu, but your primary nav items such as work, about, thoughts, contact, whatever, it should be over here, easily accessible. Um, I like the type here. All right, pretty good section right here with uh, just a very simple gallery with hover-based animations. Section looks pretty good. All right, next up, let's check out Poland, London. Pollen, rather. <laughs> All right, so very minimalistic. Actually, we can't even see it sometimes. Uh, there's a hamburger menu with literally four links, and they're not showing it up here. All right, I like this type a lot, though. Uh, this font combination. Uh, music grotesque with Garamond. Very nice and um, elegant and luxurious, essentially. Mixing of uh, sans serif and a serif font, done well, like this type. Very contemporary style of design. The animations and scroll-based animations are you know, timed correctly. Let's check out one more, just for the fun of it, ever made. All right, very interesting. We have low contrast, as we can see, low contrast borders in certain areas, which is okay, in my opinion, as long as they're low contrast. A lot of people, you know, especially new designers, they put high contrast borders everywhere. And it's just a distraction from the important context, such as the type icons and other areas. Um, not too much of a fan of this massive area right here, but let's check this out. See what they have. Very interesting. All right, good photographs right here, professionally taken, always important. Um, yeah. So I'm not too much of a fan of this sort of thing. It makes it almost very, it makes it almost unusable. Um, this is a navigation, kind of like a marquee style. Um, it's just, it's, 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 it's kind of difficult to use, especially when you have this big old thing right smack dab in the center. You, you, know, you don't know what it, you're hovering over. There's not much context. So I would definitely rework this area. But uh, yeah, for the most part, solid design. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, everybody, hopefully you found that interesting. Of course, if you're interested in UI, UX design, Jeff, definitely check out designcourse.com. And also make sure to subscribe here, leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.